Good morning and welcome to the shipping show. Um, I'm on my own today again. God, it's just letting me off the hook. Let me off the leash, I should say. Um, today I have this item to ship. It's a Raymarine A50D chart plotter fish finder. Brand new in the box. I sold it for $420. Shipping priority, it's going to Florida. And the shipping priority for that is $1141. It would have been the same price to ship it the other way as well. But um, that's the way it is. So priority is normally just a better way to ship and just as cheap as the other one. So I'm going to pack it now and I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, by the way, I have two to ship and Dana has one to ship, God love her. But the one she has is $2,400, so talk to you. Okay, soon. it's going to somewhere I never heard before and I've been here 20 years. Uh, the Funniac Springs in Florida. And um, <laughs> I actually never heard of the bloody place, to tell you the truth. But anyway, that's where it's going. I insured it as well, so the total was almost $20. But it's better to be safe than sorry, huh? But anyway, I'll get this other one ready and talk to you soon. Next, I have these two pans to ship. They are cross pens, pencil and pen. And they are gold filled. They're not in excellent condition, but but I got them for a dollar and I sold them for $19.99. Um, and they pay for shipping, three dollars and something. But um, when I'm at a Estate sales, I love estate sales the most. And when I'm at any sale at all, I always make my way into the office. If they have a desk and an office in there, um, I always look for the pens. I've been pretty lucky with Parker. Um, Schaefer is a good one, but there's other ones too, which are going to the thousands. So make your way into that office. Um, and even the bathroom. I've been very lucky, very lucky. I even um, had a perfume. It was a rare perfume. Don't ask me the name, but if you look up, um, you get into my uh, eBay store, you'll probably see it if you go back far enough. And I listed it for $3.99 and got $3.99. That's $399. It was that rare. And I had it on for about four months, and somebody bought it without even making an offer. So I'm going to ship these. I'll let you know where they're going in a minute. The pans are going to Williamsburg, Virginia, and I have packed them inside really well. And um, I'll see you all again, and remember, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. Have a great day, and Dan will be with you very shortly. Hi, everybody. Dana here. Thanks, uh, Jimmy, for doing a good job this morning. I am just getting uh, my shipping ready. I only have one to ship right now, and it is the Quest Star Telescope. If you happen to go look at my playlist on items I have listed on eBay, I did a little video showing it, and it was a great auction. So I had this listed a couple times, and I will be having a post going up on my website at Power Selling Mom, but that's not it's not ready yet to share how to sell one of these because it was quite challenging. The first time I listed it kind of high based on history from WorthPoint, these things are so rare. I couldn't find much information on a history of sales, but thanks to WorthPoint, I could find some a little bit of trends and that were pretty comparable to mine. So I listed it high at 3000 something and had no bites. It's a consignment item, so my client contacted me and said, hey, let's do an auction. So we did, and he wanted to start it at $2,000. So I did a 10-day auction, started at $2,000, no bids. So it didn't sell. But in the end, I had all kinds of people emailing me going, um, oh, I'll buy it for $2,000. Sorry, I missed the auction, blah, blah, blah. 
So I talked to my client and I asked him to please let me do it one more time and lower it and that I felt confident we would sell it this strategy. So he was comfortable with it, so I listed it at 1200 I think it was 1250 even. 15. Excuse me? It was no, it wasn't, Jimmy. It was 12 He wanted me to list it at 15 I wanted to list it at 12 So I did. So yes, I listed it at 12500 so I was right. And it had uh, 13 bids and... 52 watchers <laughs> so there was a lot of activity on on this listing it was awesome I love auctions like this so it closed at um, let me check here it is it closed at two thousand four hundred and two seventy seven so you can see the price and there's my information and yes this is the listing for this telescope so you can see how I presented it to show all the sides. And that actually comes off of it. There's the serial number. And that's it. So here it is. So I'm getting ready to package it up. Now it's going to be really important, I'm going to put foam around all of these, um, these are the legs that hold it in place. This is going to, it's through global shipping, it's going to Australia. So it's going to have to make sure that nothing slides around, this will be firm in place, everything's going to be secure. I've already, um, I can lock it so that it doesn't slip around and that kind of thing. So, all right, so let me box it up. It's gonna take me a few minutes to do that. Okay, shipping was $61 and 37 cents and he paid for shipping, so he paid $60. Yeah. Sorry. It's actually um, going to Kentucky, and from there, it's going to Australia, to its new home. So I really packaged this well. I didn't get to see it, but I spent a lot of time packaging this. And it's really important. So it's insured, it's protected, and I can't wait till it lands safely in Australia. And it's a consignment item. I actually get 35% of that sale. So not, not a bad day's work. Okay, thank you for joining us today. I'm Dana Crawford. Thanks for watching The Shipping Show. Until next time, happy eBay selling and shipping.